Hello and welcome to a short tutorial on how to compile the pledge videos. In order to make downloading easier, I'm going to go to my Chrome settings. I'll scroll down to the, the download section and make sure that the box next to ask where to save each file before downloading is checked. I'm going to switch over to the icon view so it's easier to see the files. And then I'll find one of the files I want to download, right click and choose download. I'm going to create a new folder on the desktop so that I can find these files easily when it's time to upload them to iMovie. Another option to download is to click on the video you want, click on the More button, and choose Download from that list. Notice that it went directly to that folder I just created so that I can save it in that folder. I can also select multiple files to download at one time by using the command key and clicking on multiple photos. Then I can click on the more button and download them. They download as a zipped file if you download multiple videos. Um, I unzip the files in the folder that I created on my desktop before I go to iMovie. In iMovie I click on the import button to bring those files into iMovie. I change it to a new event and I give the event a good name. Then I locate my folder on my desktop and I select all of the video files. Then I click import selected. After the files are finished importing I need to create a new movie or trailer. So I click on movie. I use no theme and then click create. I want to make sure that I can see things how I like them. Um, I'm going to click on this button here to increase the clip size a little bit to make it easier to see and actually increase the length of them and I want to show the waveform which shows the squiggly line that represents the audio file. So uh, first thing I want to start off with is a background so that I can add a introductory title to this. Back to my event which has all my video in it and you can see that the beginning of this video there's a little bit of ex there's a little bit of space where he's not really speaking you can tell that from the waveform so that video I could add a transition to videos like this one where there's really not much extra time at either end I can't put transitions on Okay, so I'm going to use this one first because I can add a transition to it and I'd like to show you how that works. I'm actually just double clicking on the video clip and that selects the whole thing. Then I can either drag it down or I can just push on the plus symbol right here. Now to add a transition, I go over here to the transitions library and I choose the one I want. Let's say for this curious to see what the cross zoom would look like. So did you notice that before I added that, let me delete that out, there's this little bit of time here at the beginning of this clip where he's not speaking. It's probably not quite long enough. We might have to change the settings on, this, on the transition. So I set that in there and you can see how much of it is gone. Probably interrupts him. So let's real quick here change that to point five instead of one full second. Hi, Diego. Okay, so that worked. Okay, so that worked. All right, one other thing I want to show you, since some of you did film in the vertical. So for ones that need to be adjusted, we're going to go to the crop tool and try crop to fill. That's going to give you something really small. Um, so for this, I'm actually going to go with Ken Burns and have it start right on his face and end right on where his little sign that says lights. Super. Some of you filmed using the cameras on your computer and it filmed um, in reverse. So I'm going to show you how to turn that around. This one also is one you could crop to crop a little bit because the aspect ratio is a little smaller. It doesn't have to. The black bars on this are not as noticeable. Click on the video and audio effects button. And click on the video effect. And click flipped. Okay. 
so now it's the right direction. So you just add all the videos until you have your compilation. Uh, you can add music. If you add music, make sure that you give the appropriate credit. Uh, if you use music from iMovie Library, identify it as from the iMovie Library. Uh, you should also make sure that when you add music, you balance the sound and the music. You can also see this big spike here. Mariano speaks quite loudly. You can also adjust that so that it's not quite as loud as everything else. So right here, I just broke that clip, and now I'm going to just turn the volume down on that one just a little bit. Okay, I should listen to that carefully a couple times, you know, comparing the waveforms here and here. This is much softer, you can tell. So you may increase the volume of a clip if you need to. In your credits, be sure to acknowledge the people who created the pledges that you included. If you use music, uh, give credit to iMovie Library or to the uh, artist using MLA credits. And of course, give yourself credit, you know, as the person who compiled or edited this video. When you're finished, make sure you share using YouTube. Make sure your privacy is public or unlisted. And then send the link to Miss Natalie using the Google form on Google Classroom. Thank you for watching.